Mortgage holders will have to wait a little longer for relief after the Reserve Bank decided to keep interest rates steady at 4.35% for the eighth time in a row. It marks one full year since the official catch rate was last adjusted. Although inflation has dipped to a three-year low, the RBA doesn't expect it to return to its target until mid-2026, leaving homeowners uncertain about the possibility of a rate cut in 2025. Sally Tyndall from CanStar joins us now. Great to have you with us. So, no rate cut before Christmas. When are we going to get one? Anytime soon? OK, well, for starters, the RBA isn't ruling anything in or out. We heard that again. But I think at this point, we can rule out the possibility of a rate hike. Unless something unforeseen comes from left field, I don't think a rate hike is on the cards. Mm -hmm. Big four banks all believe the first cut will come in February. But I cannot see that the RBA will come back from the summer break and that will be their first agenda item as a cut. I think that they want more data on their side. Mm. So then if you look at the data, the first quarterly data or the next round of quarterly data lands at the end of June. The one after that lands at the end of April. So I would say that May meeting, it's on the 20th of May, it's live. That's when we could see our first cut. But, of course, you do not bank on a rate cut until it hits your bank account. We're going to get to saving rates in a moment, but um, do we just need to get used to this rate as it is right now and this becomes the new norm for at least you know, the next little while? Well, no, you don't need to get used to this rate, Shervo, because you can refinance. So we've done some maths. Mm. Cash rate has been at 4.35 for the last year. That means for someone with a $600,000 loan last year, 25 mm. years remaining, they could have paid up to $42,000 oh. in interest over the last 12 months. $42,000 if they had just copped all 13 RBA rate hikes. But if they had a year ago refinanced to a rate of 6% or less, mm. they could have saved $6,600 in just one year Jeez, in interest good, isn't charges. It? Isn't that, you know, a kick mm. up the backside to go and do something about it if you haven't yet? If yeah. don't, don't go kicking yourself about what you could have or should have done. Take action right now. Refinance. There are yeah. 34 different lenders offering at least one variable rate under 6% for owner-occupiers. Do your research, then go back to your bank and see if they'll meet that. And also, just quickly, savings rates, uh, unfortunately, some banks are lowering those, so keep an eye on that as well. Sal, thanks for coming in. Thank you.